relations relation is nothing but it's all about geometric characteristic that is the line has to be in the horizontal orientation or the arc has to be tangential with the line these are the different geometric characteristic we apply for the entities that's what we call as relations in solid works we call as geometry relations once you create entity you edit you apply dimensions and wherever we required we need to apply geometric relations now let's start with the first one horizontal and vertical which makes us uh, the line if it's an angular we can make it to be horizontal or vertical and collinear will make the two lines to be on the same infinity plane or line and coradial will share the same center point and radius let's see the relations one by one in solidworks now i have this predefined sketch i would like to make this to be horizontal and this to be vertical and i will create one more circle over here and one more circle over here and also in this area now i need to make this and this circle to be in the same vertical direction and this and this to be in same horizontal now when you drag the circle you can see the relation between these circles will be maintained without disturbing their characteristic like uh, changing the uh, the orientation between the two center point of the circle the next one is collinear now i i will draw one more uh, line here and i will say this line has to be collinear with this line segment and if i select collinear you can see here okay it gives you the unsolvable unsolvable situation what i will do here is i'll make this line and this line to be collinear and if you use collinear you can see both will be lying on the same plane and you can also do one more thing uh, say we had used we had made we had made this sketch to lie on this condition now it's in the collinear with this center point now i can drag and keep it over here and i'll make dimension for this as 280 and i will complete this line segment but now what 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 is my requirement is i need to make this line segment and this line segment should be collinear now once again there is an issue what i will do here is i will cancel this and we have to remove this one because since it is uh, having the relation with the end points now definitely it should work out i'll select these two line segments and i'll say collinear now you can see both will be lying on the same plane and the next one more interesting thing uh, that is i want to make this circle uh, what i can do is uh, i will create a line circle over this space and i want to make this circle and this or quantity should share same center point and radius you can select these two edges and you can make co radial now you can see it will sh share same center point and same radial dimension and now there is one more condition i need this line and this line to be perpendicular select these two line segment using control points and from this call out i will use make perpendicular and the next task is uh, i would like to create a line segment up to here and there is a one more line segment up to here but I, i i need to make an assurance like these two line segment should be parallel we can select this before that we need to confirm these should have a angle of 140 degree so that this will be fixed and this will become parallel to this first selection first selected line segment i'll give parallel you can see this will be parallel and now let's see one more constraint which will be seeing the next slide let's 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 see how we can do this i'll select this point and uh, and this point and we can we can make it this merge points if you if you use merge both will be as a one single point but but as i know this will be unsolvable since we had given parallel we cannot do this but but we but you can apply uh, 
horizontal condition between these two points Th this is all about making horizontal vertical collinear and coradial for the sketch entities and now let's see how we can apply parallel relation that is parallel relation in the yz direction and in the xy uh, yz direction and uh, zx direction but this relation will work only in a 3d sketch we'll go and create a line segment i'll draw in any direction but i want to make this line to be in uh, uh, to, to apply parallel uh, yz constraint we need to select this line segment and we need to select a plane and here you can get parallel yz and parallel zx which one you need you can select here accordingly that will be parallel it will be parallel to the selected plane this is what we call as parallel yz or or parallel zx we can also define one more constraint that is along x along y if you choose along y it will be oriented along y direction but i don't require y direction i will choose this and i will say it should be perpendicular to this so i need to use along z and this has to once again long uh, y now you can see we apply couple of constraint for the 3d sketch by defining the direction in the parallel yz and parallel zx and along x and y this this completes uh, this slide uh, relating the constraint with respect to the geometry